Hi everyone, today a very quick video of how you can use Google Forms to create assessment tests, placement tests, quizzes and set them as homework for your students. And it's all paperless, so you can do it online, uh, you know, online teaching or when you use computers and laptops during your lesson. This is a brilliant idea, but not only that, because if you set homework, then you can share these forms these quizzes with your students and um and they can do it you know as homework um after so uh when you go to your um email box uh, you can go to google drive that's the easiest way to find it for me <laughs> then you go to new and then you have more so you can scroll down and here you have Google Forms. So let's press Google Forms. And you've got different, this is the new one that we can that we can uh, choose. That's the new Google Form. This is this will be the new one. But if you don't wanna you go to Google Forms and then you can press no the Google, sorry, you go you go to Google Forms, you press from a template. And you've got different templates. So basically, you don't have to, you know, create um, everything from scratch. You can use something. So let's, if you go to assessment, you've got education, you go to assessment. Oh, and there you go. And basically, what you need to do, you just need to type in, you know, different information, put different information, whatever you want to do. So you can just put placement test. All right. turn on so you've got name you've got email address if you create just remember if you create um some sort of a you know test or assessment test uh, from scratch make sure you put uh you put the first one as name or an email because when you receive the uh answers from your students if this one is not already contained then you may not know who actually answered who gave you the answer so um that's that's a tricky thing so remember you always need to have a name and then or an email address if you've got online students for instance then uh, you need to have these two when it comes to assessment it's already built in but if you're going to create something from scratch just make sure that the first one would be this one uh, and then you just, you know, you just change the question, whatever you want to do, you change, here you have the correct answer, so you just need to type in the correct answer here. You can move it around if you want to. You can also add um, um, an image if you want to, um, so it can be anything there. You can change the layout, so you can just slightly, you can just put the green one, love all the green colors. You can upload a different image um, so you can change it a bit but you can give it a different a different title so you've got a let's say placement test or uh, yeah however you want to name this one is yes. so basically if you don't want something then you can just get rid of that and that's about it. And what you then need to do, you just need to send it and then you just put an email for the person you want to, uh, you know, send it to. Uh, or you can, you've got also the, the link that you can copy and paste to someone else. So for instance, this is my, this is my uh, placement test for business courses, online business course. So as you can see, we've got everything here got four responses I used already the a template so I already had a built-in email address was already built in so it was easier for me and then my responses are here so you can see the, the summary question and then individual responses as well but just make sure as I said that you will ha you have the, the first you know the first name uh, the first question would be either a name or an email, uh, an email address. If you want to, if you want to create something like that from scratch. So again, we go to um, Google Drive. We've got Google Forms, and then let's say blank form. Let's choose a blank 
form. So you can uh, give it a title. So let's say present simple, for instance, it could be an assessment test. You've got a form to so you can just add some more information about that. And remember, the first one to put names. So the person will have to write the name. But as you can see here, you have some options here. So we need to change this one because we want the person, the person to only type in their name. So just put short answer. And then someone can um, write the you know the name. So then you can add another one. So you've got the first question. You can have, you know, for instance, he uh, to school uh, to work every day, and then you've got a multiple choice. So you can put drives. driving let's say drive okay. so this is what you have but then if you think about it well you need to have now you've got just three options but which one is the correct one yeah so if you don't actually if you don't mark the correct answer then it will give you some you know, extra basically work to do and you want to have it done it quicker and automatically so what you need to do in order to be able to mark the correct answer you need to go here to settings you need to choose quizzes and then make this a quiz save and then you can choose the correct answer so you press answer key you press the correct answer you choose how many points you want it to, uh, you want you know you want the students to get for this uh, for this question let's say one point for this one and then we've got edit so as you can see we've just added the correct answer and again you can have and we could have As you can see, and then again, we need to give it the correct answer. So we could have what time does he get up? Get one point for this one, and so on and so forth. So you've got already two questions, so you can go further on. You've got different types of different types of the um, different types of you know uh, uh, tests that you can create. But when it comes to quizzes, I reckon there aren't um, the choice is limited so just try to stick in you know, it to multiple choice because then you can um, you can create the answer keys um, and then when you finish what you need to do you need to send it to you know to your students basically uh, when they when they do the test you'll get a notification and then you'll be able to see all the responses uh which will be here responses there was no one because i haven't sent it to anyone no one's responded but uh, once i've got some responses then then i can see them right here and it's literally it's brilliant because so first of all it is automatically marked <laughs> so you just need to make sure you put the correct uh, you know uh, you 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 know you, you create the quiz so you would have correct answers here You've got all the responses here. You don't have to print anything out. All you need to do is to have a person's email address. That's about it. And they can do it, you know, using their phones, especially teenagers, they love it. Um, I, I use it very often with my students and they literally, they, it's just a very quick homework after school, 10 minutes, not more, and it works brilliantly. Okay, so that's all for today. So I hope you, you know, um, that's a very quick tip, but I think it saves so much time. And, you know, uh, we're going paperless, so we're trying to be more, um, uh, trying to become, I'm trying to become more online. So whatever I managed to discover, <laughs> let's say um, I'm trying to share 
uh, share this, you know, this quick um, info with with you. So um, have a lovely um, have a lovely weekend, and see you next week. Bye bye.